Purpose clauses in Latin are one of the most common uses of the subjunctive that you'll find. So a purpose clause answers why a certain action was done. So it will be in the speaker or in the in the doer's mind his motive for a particular action. So for example, in English, I am reading Latin in order that I might become smarter. I am reading Latin is the main clause. And in order that I might become smarter is the purpose clause. So main clause, purpose clause. Now a clause, if you don't know, is very simple. Uh, a clause is any group of words that has a subject and a verb. So in Latin, because this, the subject is contained in the verb, essentially every verb is uh, a clause. So I am reading in order that I might become. Or he attended college, there's the main clause, in order that others might think him smart, there's the purpose clause. That's why he went to college. That was his motive. Now, in Latin, there are essentially three sections, three parts to keep in mind for every purpose clause. First, you're going to have a main clause. You have to have a main clause. You have to have an action. And then you're going to have a conjunction, either ut or ne, and I'll say a little bit about that in a second. And then the verb in the purpose clause will be in the subjunctive. So, ut indicates positive purpose. I run in order that I might become faster. So main clause I run, purpose clause in order that I might become faster is positive. That is, it's something uh, that I want to happen. Nay indicates negative purpose. I run in order that they might not catch me. I run again as the main clause. In order that they might not catch me is the purpose clause. But notice the not here indicates something that I don't want to happen. So the conjunction there is going to be nay instead of ut. And then in the subjunctive, you're either going to find the present tense, all right, the, the subjunctive in the present tense, so might become would be in the present tense of subjunctive, if the main clause is a primary tense. And by primary tense, we mean present, future, or future perfect. So notice in this sentence, I run is present tense, so become will be present subjunctive. And the same thing would happen here. Uh, I run pa, uh, present tense, that is primary tense, and they might not catch me is going to be a present subjunctive. The imperfect subjunctive is going to be used if the main clause is a secondary tense. That is an imperfect, perfect, or proof perfect. So if we change these sentences, I ran in order that I might become faster, I ran, past tense, so become would then be in the imperfect tense. Or, I ran in order that they might not catch me. I ran, past tense, therefore they might not catch me. To catch would be an imperfect subjunctive. So notice, with the subjunctive, there's no single way to translate the particular tenses. Uh, keep this in mind, that what we're talking about here is a concept called the sequence of tenses. That is, the tense of the subjunctive is going to be determined by the tense of the main verb. So let's look at some examples. We've already looked at some English ones, here are some Latin ones. Pugno ut nautum superem. So main clause pugno, I fight. Ut, it's a positive purpose. I fight in order that, and then you look to your subjunctive, superem, this is present tense subjunctive because pugno is present tense so we're in a primary tense I'm going to keep so I fight in order that I might overcome the sailor or here a negative purpose pugnabo ne nauta feminum superet pugnamo pugnabo future I will fight so that in order that and notice because it's a future tense it's primary sequence we're going to stay with a uh, present subjunctive, 
I will fight so that the sailor will not overcome the woman, would not conquer the woman. So I will fight in order that the sailor might not conquer the woman. Notice I'm changing the way I'm translating the purpose clauses. There's many ways to do purpose clauses in English. We can do in order that. We could do what in English ends up being just a simple uh, infinitive. So I fight to overcome the sailor. Uh, in English, we could just use an infinitive. Latin would never use an infinitive for this. Uh, or I say never. Uh, it's very, very rare. Don't do it. You can't. Uh, or so that is another way to translate the purpose clause. All right, so I fight in order that I might overcome the sailor. I will fight in order that the sailor might not overcome the woman. Pugnabam, uh, imperfect, I used to fight in order that I might overcome the sailor. So because this is imperfect, we're going to use the imperfect subjunctive. Pugnawi ne nauta femina feminam superaret. So I fought so that the sailor might not overcome the woman. It's a negative purpose. Superaret is imperfect subjunctive because your main verb is a secondary tense. A couple more examples. Regina gladium viro dabit ut pugnet. The queen will give the sword to the man. Now I see right here future. I know that the verb of the, of the purpose clause is going to be uh, present subjunctive, because we're in primary tense, and ut, it's positive, so that the queen will give the sword to the man in order that he might fight. And all of these sentences, by the way, are found <coughs> in uh, Latin and intensive course. Uh, I've taken out some of the words, but these are, are otherwise um, word for word. Liberi malo superabunt, Ah, future. So I know that the subordinate clause is going to be present subjunctive. Liberi malo superabunt ne servi miseri sint. The free will overcome the bad, the wicked, so that they might not, uh, so that the slaves might not be wretched. Okay, so that the slaves might not be sint, being the present subjunctive of the verb sum. Now type pugnabant, uh, imperfect subjunctive, so I know that I'm going to be using an uh, imperfect indicative, rather. I know I'm going to be moving into imperfect subjunctive. Now tie pugnabant ut incolas superarent. The sailors used to fight in order that they might overcome the inhabitants. It's a positive purpose, imperfect subjunctive, because it's secondary sequence main verb. Pugnawa Ramos, ne nautai femina spectarent. We had fought, uh, secondary, secondary tense, pluperfect, subjunct, uh, pluperfect indicative. Ne, it's negative. So because it's pluperfect subjunctive, we are going to use an imperfect, uh, a pluperfect indicative, main verb. We're going to use the imperfect subjunctive. So we had fought so that the sailors would not see, look at the women. So, things to keep in mind when it comes to purpose clauses. First, ut is a positive purpose, ne is a negative purpose. And second, the tense of the subjunctive will be determined by the tense of the main verb. Remember, we call this the sequence of tenses. And as you move on in Latin, you'll see this gets a little more complex. But for now, if you have a primary tense main verb, you'll use the present subjunctive in the subordinate clause, in this case the purpose clause. And if you have a secondary main verb, the subordinate clause, in this case the purpose clause, is going to be the imperfect subjunctive. So remember, primary main verb, primary tenses are present uh, future and future perfect. 
they're going to be followed by a present subjunctive. Secondary main verb, the secondary tenses are imperfect, perfect, and pluperfect. Those are the past tenses. Those will be followed by an imperfect subjunctive in the subordinate clause, uh, which in this case is the purpose clause.